Good morning, everyone. This is how we're looking. I went to sleep in braids. Um, cause I couldn't be asked washing my hair yesterday. So that's, that's what we did. Um, it's late now. It's like half 12. I've been up since like 11. Today is bank holiday Friday. So I'm so glad that I got to sleep in because I haven't slept in like, two days two days something like that um not gonna go into it because i'm just gonna get upset but um my cat's not doing very well he's in the hospital and he's probably gonna be there until next week um he's got kidney failure um and i'm i've basically been really worried about him um and really sad that i can't get home to be there and now we're gonna stop talking about it because I don't wanna get upset. My whole house needs a giant clean and a giant tidy up because it has gone to shit in the last week um, because it's, it's just been a lot and we haven't been keeping on top of it. So off the top of my head, I have a list written down, but off the top of my head, I need to tidy up my room. I need to hoover around the house. I need a mop around the house. Um, I want to take all the recycling down because um, we have too much of it. Um, so we're going to take it down to the bins. Then I have to take the bin down if it needs it. I think we took it down yesterday though, so probably not. Then I want to put my winter coats away and just kind of bring out all the summer clothes and put away all the winter clothes. And I want to do a load of laundry. Off the top of my head, that's the stuff that we have to do. And so I figured I would vlog for the long weekend and just bring you along. I felt like vlogging, which is rare. <laughs> I don't always feel like vlogging. I don't always feel like letting people in, but I think because it's a long weekend and we're in lockdown and I, I have no one to talk to except my flatmate, um, it feels nice to talk to you when I'm less busy because I'm not working and stuff, so. Yeah, cool. Long weekend vlog. Welcome. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Get yourself a drink. We're gonna clean. It's gonna be great. <laughs> The year is 2020 and we get dressed up to go to the shop because <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt that I haven't We can't ironed. go anywhere else! I'm wearing a shirt that I've ironed in about two years. I wouldn't describe that as dressing up. <laughs> I'm dressed up! Look at the sun. Ooh, so nice. come on the roof for a second um, I'm about to go down again but we just have this um, it's like window from the hallway that opens up into this uh, roof terrace so we've been making use of that um, in these weird times this is where we come to hang out and sit in the sun we're so lucky to, ha to like, even have this but yeah it's just been really nice to sit up here for a bit take some photos and get a little sun it's been very nice uh, the trip to the shop absolutely wore me out. I'm so hot and bothered and tired now because um, we ended up buying so much stuff. It's kind of weird with lockdown um, in terms of going to the shop together because you're not really meant to have two people from the same household do a food shop, but you and I aren't like cooking together. We don't do any of that. We buy our own food. And so even if we didn't go physically together, we would still be going separately 
I don't know, it's a weird one. It's a really weird one, isn't it? Because it's not about people going together in that moment. It's about having more than one person in your household coming in and out the house. Um, but Gio's not gonna do her food shop and mine because A, that's stupid, and B, she can't carry it. And I'm not gonna do it either for the same reasons. So it's a weird one, very, very weird one. Um, but doing our best, doing our best staying home. Um, it's all we can do, really. I'm ready for life to go back to normal. Um, obviously, I don't want it to go back to normal before it's safe to do so, but I'm just like ready for that to be the case now. I just really want to go out and socialize and see my family and all that, you know, all that. I miss it. We have this ladder that we use up to get up there and it's a bit tricky to get down but I bought that pole recently uh, that holds the window open for us now so it's a lot easier. Listen, I may have had to take my shorts off again because it is too hot uh, and now I'm having a cider because it's a bank holiday and what are sunny bank holidays for if not to drink alcohol? You heard it here first. I don't make the rules. I have not made my bed. My makeup's still there, my thingy's still there from doing my laser hair removal, my <laughs> switch is there, my towel is here from my shower, my shh, that's a bra, that's not underwear, don't worry about it, that's a sports bra, we're fine. And this is how we're hanging out, I'm still wearing shoes because I was just up on the roof, and I'm trying to cool down, I might need to turn the fan on for the sake of sorting this room out. I need to put some bits away here. I've still got my coffee here from yesterday. Good God, sort me out. This is what I'm using on my legs at the moment. I've spoken about it before, definitely, um, but I stopped using it for a bit because I got lazy. And I'm using it again to try and get rid of my keratosis pilaris, which is this, by the way. You see all the little dots coming up and down my leg? That's not hair. I literally have shaved today. This isn't hair. This exists all over my legs, all the way up, uh, and I'm trying to get rid of it. Who knows? I've definitely talked about KP um, on here before, so I'm not gonna go super into it. Doesn't really matter. All it is is a buildup of keratin in your hair follicles. It's genetic for the most part. You can't really get rid of it, like there's no treatment or cure for it that like sorts it out there's just lots of things that you can try to try and help it um so that's what i'm doing because i'm very insecure about it we love being honest about our insecurities up in this channel <laughs> tidy load of laundry in i'm gonna take a quick break call my mom facetime her eat some food um and then we're gonna start again and by start again i mean keep going mm, clearly i'm hungry um and i think i'm gonna do my clothes next i'm gonna do this by room so today i'm gonna sort out everything in my bedroom and maybe tomorrow we do kitchen maybe the day after we do bathroom i don't know it's gonna be like a deep clean for each of them so i don't know i think i'll tackle the bedroom today get all of that sorted and then take the recycling down and maybe we'll call it a day after that i don't know but i need food first that's that's one thing i know for sure <laughs> completely succeeded. I've got fancier pants on this side. I've got 
blue jeans, black trousers, jeans, and a skirt. Behind this I have jumpsuits uh, and like more wintery kind of clothes. I've got pajama tops on here. They used to live in one of these, but um, I've moved them to this side of the wardrobe. And then on this side I have all my tops sorted by color and type. Uh, so white tops, colored tops, gray, black. Then same with t-shirts, white t-shirts, gray, colored, black. Then I've got some like longer sleeve things just in case we have some days that are a bit colder. Uh, I've got my shirts on here. I've got a denim jacket that can go behind my door. And then I've got dresses, play suits, jumpsuits, long dresses, and all of that. Um, on here I have some things I can't fold, my gym bag, and then these two are just full of winter clothes now. Uh, so like really big jumpers, uh, turtlenecks, all that kind of stuff. So I won't have to touch these now for a while. Up there we've got my big coats and behind my door we have quite literally nothing. We've just got a few denim jackets, my robe and my bag for if I leave the house. Yeah! Smashed it. Coming at you basically a brand new woman. I've just mopped the entire house, done the kitchen, done the lounge, done the bathroom, done the hallway. I've hoovered everywhere, I've hoovered in my bedroom. I feel cleansed. <laughs> I'm so happy, everything looks so clean. What is it about being in like a squeaky clean environment that makes everything better. Um, I still need to like properly make my bed but I'm not changing my sheets till tomorrow. I change them on Sundays. Did you need to know that about me? Probably not. Probably useless information. You're welcome. Um, you're probably gonna have to sacrifice some some knowledge of some some music or some history or your GCSE maths to, to remember that one. <laughs> but I just feel so good and as I was cleaning I was doing the little montage and I was very aware of the fact that I'm in my underwear. But here's the thing, right? As I was cleaning, I was like, oh, people are going to be like, put some pants on. Why are you vlogging in your underwear? These briefs are basically 10 times larger than any bikini I would wear. I'm a thong at the beach and topless kind of girl. Like, I would happily vlog in my bikini if I were at a pool or something. So why is it a problem if I'm wearing underwear? I don't know. I don't think there is one. Also, I don't really care. So to anyone who was thinking of leaving a comment like, put on some pants, no, I will not. Fuck you. Just been on FaceTime to my mom. Um, got an update on my cat. He's gone home for the weekend because he was very stressed out um, at the vet and obviously they were gonna he was gonna be like left alone at the vet um, overnight and that wouldn't have been good for him. So um, he's still not okay. Um, his kidney levels are still way too high um, but he's going home for the weekend and then he's gonna go back in on Monday. Um, so at least I'm happy that he's being looked after and we're like keeping an eye on him when we know what's wrong now. Um, and he's getting the help that he needs. So I'm happy he's home. He's gonna get to relax and chill and be in his space. Um, and I can FaceTime my grandma and speak to him and see him. Uh, so that'll be nice. And then my brother and his wife have just been to the hospital to get the COVID test done to make sure they're both negative because on Tuesday, if she doesn't go into labor before that, on Tuesday they're getting induced or she's getting induced. My brother is not getting induced. Um, but for a long time we didn't know if my brother was going to be able to be there during the labor, um, which was really upsetting and like really sad because it's his first baby, um, it's her first baby. And I can't imagine giving birth like 
on my own but I was also really heartbroken for my brother because I know this is something that he's wanted for such a long time and he wants to be like so involved and to be told that you can't be there for the birth of your first baby like is just devastating but um the hospital's now said that he can get the test uh and if it's negative then he can go in with her which is massive weight off of everyone's shoulders and we're all very happy uh so he went and got the test today we should have the results in the next like six hours and i'm sure they're both negative like they've been isolating for longer than they've even been like told to um so yeah i'm buzzing i'm gonna be an aunt in the next few days like literally in the next few days it's not gonna be past tuesday or wednesday so i'm just very excited very excited um really gutted that i can't be there because i was meant to fly home on the 28th and even if they don't cancel those flights even if i'm still allowed to go home um i'm not going to um because it's a risk and everyone in my family is high risk and i wouldn't have anyone to like isolate with and i don't have two weeks to like isolate and then i don't know like i no i, I won't do that um i only want to go home when i'm able to like be home normally and like see all my family and get around and stuff i don't really want to go home and then have to be by myself for two weeks and then not even be able to see all my family because i can't hop between households like that's not it's not what i want to do and i know that the restrictions in portugal have lifted and blah 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 but i i don't feel good about it if my family weren't high risk i might consider it more um but i i am getting a lot of questions from people as to why i haven't gone home and that's why um my whole family is separated into five different households and i don't have my own place there i'd have to stay with someone and there isn't an option in any of those households that isn't high risk um so just gonna be here uh, and i'll meet my nephew over facetime and hopefully see him before he's a year old i don't know <laughs> um it's scary and it's upsetting i think i'm really excited for him to be born but i'm also going to be really sad because right now nothing's changed like usually on a day-to-day -day, i don't see my family the most i can do is call them and facetime them so this actually feels very normal to me but as soon as the baby's born i'm gonna feel really like i'm really gonna feel the difference because like, i want to be there um not that i don't want to now but it's gonna be like an extra thing so yeah i don't know i don't know uh just happy that everyone's okay and that everything's kind of settling and that my sister-in-law is gonna be not pregnant soon because she's really sick of it now um and i really feel for her bless her um so yeah that's that's an update on my covid situation anyway i'm bored in a house and i'm in a house bored that's it this is not how i wanted to end the vlog um but i have been trying to get myself in a better headspace a better um mood or at the very least not be crying so that i can end the vlog but it has got to the point where i have been crying all day um and i look like this <laughs> and it would look like i've been crying even if i were to stop um my cat's not doing very well um we were hoping that he was gonna go home for the weekend and that he would eat and that um he would just kind of get better but he's not and uh, um he's going back to the vet tomorrow they're likely gonna keep him for a few days to try and get his kidneys to level out and be okay but um if they don't and he doesn't eat and he doesn't drink and he just stays how he is then we might 
have to put him down and that's not confirmed it's not like that's what's happening and I'm not reacting to it because that's that's what's happening it could still be fine but the thought of not being able to be there is oh fuck I love that little shit so much <laughs> I love him so much and I feel really guilty I feel really guilty because I I could have gone home I was so close to going home I I could have gone home when all of this happened and I would have been there and I decided to stay here for good reason <laughs> for good reason it's not like I made a stupid decision I still think I made the right decision in staying in in London but I could have been there and now there is a chance that, that I'm, I'm not gonna get to say goodbye and I don't know I don't know how I come back from that so many things in life happen to you for the first time and before you go through it you don't you don't see how you will get through it and I know that I will and it'll be fine and it's really dramatic for me to be like I don't know how I'm gonna cope with my pet dying <laughs> people have lost family members parents grandparents siblings in this and a lot of people don't understand the kind of love and grief that you can feel over a, a pet <laughs> but that little shit's been my best friend for 15 years and if I don't get to say goodbye <laughs> but I also obviously don't want him to suffer you know I don't want him to <laughs> be hanging by a thread and suffering and feeling how he's feeling at the moment so there's a very real possibility that we might have to put him down and um I guess I'll have to be there over FaceTime which is ridiculous and not something not something anyone could have thought would happen he could have picked any time to get sick he could have picked any time and he chose now fucking brat i love him so much and i just want him to be okay and if there's no way for him to be okay then i have to find a way to be okay with not being a part of of it but anyway that was this vlog stark difference from the last two days to today um i will keep you updated on twitter as i have been as all of this has gone on um we're gonna have a big announcement i guess today from the prime minister at seven to see if if laws get lifted and, and if lockdown gets eased and all of that shite and at this point, to be honest, I don't think, I'm feeling so negative about it. People are breaking the law, people are going out, people are sitting in parks, people, too many people are breaking the law for the police to be able to do anything. The police can't fine everyone, they can't arrest everyone, there's nowhere to put all these people. If, if everyone collectively decides to ignore lockdown rules, then there's there's literally nothing that we can do and people will die and this will carry on and I won't be able to go home and I just feel like everything is so far out of my control at the moment I just want a cuddle <laughs> I just want a cuddle anyway this has been six minutes of just pure shite and I'm sorry we're ending on a low this is why I'm not really vlogging at the moment because this is this is everything. It's like I'll have a really good couple of days and then 
then I'll have a day like this where I, it took me till 3 p.m. to get out of bed. It's now uh, 20 to 5. So I've been up for two hours and all I've done is cry. <laughs> Great. <laughs> if any of you actually have lost a pet before and you weren't able to be there or it happened super suddenly or whatever, if you have any words of advice of encur or encouragement as to how to get through that, I would appreciate that because I've lost pets before. I lost a cat when I was eight. He was literally a year old and he got cancer and he he died but I didn't really, I don't know, live through it. I was only eight years old, I didn't really understand and then one day he was just gone um, and I was sad but I hadn't had 15 years <laughs> of life with him, you know. It was sad but it was, I was young. I've never had to deal with loss really. Not in my adult life, so I, I don't really know how to deal with it. So, any words of encouragement or advice would be very welcomed. Um, and I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you're all staying home, staying safe, following the guidelines and the rules. And um, I will see you in my next vlog, whenever that may be. Potentially next time you see me. I will be an aunt. We'll know that we know that for sure. My nephew will be born in the next 48 to 72 hours. So I'm sure I will tweet about it, post about it somewhere. Anyway, that's it. It's nine minutes now. I'm gonna go because I don't know how to end this, but I love you all very much. Um not gonna tell you to like this video or subscribe. You do you, you do what you want. I will see you. <laughs> see you next time.